This Waratah rivulet is a wake up call to the people of Sydney, to the government of New South Wales, to make sure that they don't repeat this across New South Wales while there's this coal rush. We're here at the Waratah rivulet, which is the major tributary of the Warranora River, uh, which flows into the uh, Warranora Dam catchment. In fact, provides a very large percentage of the water for the drinking water of Southern Sydney. Uh, we're here with uh, many community members today, checking out an area where the rock bars of this rivulet have been grossly disturbed by long wall mining uh, far beneath the ground. The company Peabody uh, is uh, working to remediate, so called, uh, the cracks that have appeared in this rock bar. There are circular holes that have been drilled by the company to inject polyurethane. We have seen a corroding polyurethane around the edges. We believe that there are, has probably been millions of dollars spent and yet it has probably only scratched the surface of what needs to be done. We are here to reflect on the damage caused by this type of industrialisation within our drinking water catchment, but also to consider the cumulative impacts that would happen if coal seam gas mining uh, ever industrialised this area. There is a chance that there could be 100 to 150 wells in this drinking water catchment alone. We think that would be absolutely devastating for this catchment and for the ecosystems of southern Sydney and northern Illawarra. NPA is not after companies that can predict damage and then theoretically say they can remediate it, but it's for these companies to show social responsibility and environmental responsibility by planning not to damage the rock bars and the ecosystems of these pristine areas. This particular rivulet has been smashed in places. We've seen lots and lots of smashed rocks, fractured rock bars. All of that is the outcome of Longwall Mines. Uh, my particular concerns at the moment also are that the threats are amplified by the double whammy effect because very soon Apex are going to start coal seam gas drilling in this catchment as well. And um, it's just to me it seems that there can't possibly be any legitimacy. No one out there, meaning my friends, the people that live in my community, our communities, know enough about this issue to object. The catchment's locked up, we can't walk in here, and yet mining companies can do this damage. It's as if water is not as important as coal. And yet, if I asked any of my friends, they would say the reverse is true. My name is Peter Turner. I'm a, a local Helensburg resident. I live not too far from here. It's incredible that uh, this damage has so far attracted very little public attention, um, given its significance with respect to the supply of water to the Warrenora Reservoir, which feeds southern Sydney. The concern about what's happening here, the subsidence effects, are the potential risks of loss of water and also changes to water chemistry as it takes new routes out to the Warrenora Reservoir. The concerning though is the possible then complicating risk associated with coal seam gas mining, which the New South Wales Scientific Committee has said has similar impacts to, to coal mining. So the prospect of having coal mining damage and then coal seam gas extraction on top of that is, is just too hard to, 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 to beg as belief. It's incredible. This is about my ninth or tenth visit to Waratah Rivulet in the six years since it was damaged, uh, cracked, drained and polluted by longwall mining. How long this attempt to repair the waterway, glue together the riverbed if you like lasts, will be up to the company. Fortunately in the approval the company gained uh, since that damage was sustained, only two more longwall panels were allowed to undermine the rivulet whether the ones that uh, have been set back an, an, a bit from the water course have been set back far enough is another question. Well, what we've seen here today in the Sydney catchment areas is a broken river and a mining company desperately trying to fix it. And the bad news is, I don't think they can. This has been a disaster. There's no way they can break this river and fix it again. What we've seen is huge slabs, uh, tons of sandstone pushed up, smashed apart and moved down the river. We've seen uh, rock bars and rock pools destroyed 
uh, by mining, the subsidence, the slumping that's associated with long walling. It's completely outrageous that we've allowed mining to occur in this sensitive area. I think the only solution for this particular river is, it, is for it to act as a warning to government. And what they should do is rule out any more long walling towards the Warrenora. This massive catchment, this vitally important source of fresh water for the people of Sydney should be protected. And yet the government sees fit to approve more and more long walling that is actually moving closer and closer to our major water supplies. This is an example of what can go wrong with long walling. It should be a case study in how not to mine. We don't need coal, we're going for renewables. That's the smart thing. We should protect our water and this should be a lesson and a wake-up call to Barry O'Farrell and the New South Wales Government.